Hi YouTube and this is JTrain997 back this time with another figure review. This time the Justice Society of America Golden Age Alan Scott the Green Lantern. Now this comes from the newly released line and he looks like a very impressive figure. There he is on the side of the box and there's the side of the box of all the figures. Now his little bit just says Alan Scott the Golden Age Green Lantern is the guide and caretaker of the new incarnation of the Justice Society of America. Along with Jay Garrick, the Golden Age Flash, Alan Scott recruits and trains the next generation of crime fighters. So, in the current series, just like Jay Garrick, Alan Scott is a bigger player. Unlike Sandman, who's usually off in the, to the side and you hardly ever see, Alan Scott is primarily in every issue. So, looks like a great figure. Let's pull him out of the box. And here he is out of the box. Now, his ring is right up here. I'm going to zoom in on that really quick. And it is raised. It's not just a paint job, which is very nice. You can see all that super nice detail on the head sculpt and the shirt. And it really does look like, I don't know exactly how this is supposed to sound, but his clothes really look like clothes. They don't look like just another part of his body. And that in the long run is one of those little things that really make the figure come across great. Now the lantern is of course removable. Once you've got in his hand, it really wants to stay, though. Okay. So, ah, dropped it. So there's all the detail on the lantern. Okay. So, pulling him off the base real quick. Same standard base, once again. I think they could have at least stuck the logo on here. But oh well. The range of movement is kind of hindered by the cape. Arms go up to about here, down to about here out to about there. Arm has a little trouble bending at the elbow at first. Once you get it going, it'll does it fine. Same for both arms. Legs go out to here. Bend at the knee. Of course, no foot joint. And can't really go back because of the cape. There's a little 360 of the figure. Now, Alan Scott, the Green Lantern, did not um, get chosen by his power ring. As I recall the story, a meteor hit Earth, and he crafted his lantern and his ring out of it. His pledge was also different than Hal's. So overall, this is a great figure. Really digging it. Always wanted a Golden Age Green Lantern. So, this is Jay Train 997 I'd give the Alan Scott Green Lantern a very solid 8.5 out of 10. He should be available at most comic shops now um, for about $20 or so. Offline, I think these go for about the same price, if anything more, 25 with shipping. So this is JTrain997, the Alan Scott Golden Age Green Liner gets an 8.5 out of 10, and I'll see you soon, YouTube.